<laughs> While we were getting ready to plan this next section, we decided we wanted to do, <laughs> she was planning, I planned. When we were planning this section, we decided to do some hostel hopping because we had not ever stayed in a hostel before. And so we looked at the closest hostel north of the Smokies was Standing Bear, Standing Bear Farm. And, <laughs> and then as far as we wanted to go was Hot Springs. And so we got in touch with each of the hostels and uh, looked up the shuttles that were available in the area. Gabe, we wanted to experience the hostels. Yeah, we wanted to experience And boy, some, did we experience the hostels. Yes, the hostels were both great and, and different in their own special ways too. And so it was so fun to explore the city here in Hot Springs. And we will put all of the logistics of the hike. <laughs> we brought cousin Steven. We've never brought a cousin. And he's coming back. Yes, he's going to come back for more. <laughs> So we're going to put all the logistics of our hike, how many miles we did each day, if we hiked northbound or southbound, and we're going to put all that in the description if you want to follow our crazy section that we yes. did. And we're grateful that Stephen came because he normally hikes differently than we do. Yes, come here Stephen, tell us about how you hike. <laughs> differently? <laughs> <laughs> More food. <laughs> Less food. <laughs> Less bougie, huh? Le yes. Yeah. Less glamping. I but was introduced to glamping with them. But your tent's in the background. <laughs> but it can be done many different ways. Okay. It can. Push it. Yeah, Stephen was talking to us earlier about how he and his buddies get together and they hike, 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 and then stay the night in the woods and then get up the next morning and hike, hike, hike. 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 And head home, down hike, head not down. enjoying the scenery. I'm sure they enjoy the scenery, but it's just more tiring and way less glamping. It's not as enjoyable. Yeah. It's too it's still enjoyable, but it's not as. Yeah. And so, so we have walked to the dark side with us. That's right. We are just to the cooler life to represent <laughs> the the other way it can be done. Because a lot of people look at people that hike like Stephen and his friends and think they're never going to be able to do that kind of hiking, and so it discourages them. So we represent the other side, <laughs> the less intense side, the less intense side. But where, still intense. Yeah, where I mean, ten, ten miles is still hard for us it's and cold. still a challenge. <laughs> Stephen's like, I'm out of here. It's cold. It's cold. Bailing out. <clears throat> And so, what do you need a sweater or something? What we, yes. what we like to do is enjoy the small towns and not just like hike it. the Appalachian Trail, but enjoy the communities and the cities and the other hikers. Like on this section, we met so many through hikers. We met Alan Sandra, and we met uh, Machine and Bulldog and Chris, Moment and Chris, Chris and Bailey and, Bailey and Hollis and Caboose. Hollis and Caboose. Well, Caboose is the manager of the hostel. Still met him, here. and he's been a through hiker. So he knows, he knows his stuff, but it's so fun to get to know the hikers and the community and the surrounding areas. So we are, we're taking it much slower. This is definitely a different way, but we believe in hiking your own hike. And we're so excited to share that with you. Before each section hike, I print out a portion of the AT guide to help us in all of our planning. The guide will show you where your water sources are. It will also show you where some of the gaps are so you can see where some of the forestry roads come through. That will give you a good idea of where you could be picked up on the trail by a shuttle. Um, it shows a lot of the terrain so you know what your elevation is and um, we were able to print that off and decide how many miles we wanted to do per day. Because we knew we wanted to hostel hop, we found out that uh, Standing Bear Farm Hostel was actually right off of Green Corner Road. It's a gravel road just north of Davenport Gap, which is the northern terminus of the Smokies. And then we hopped to uh, Laughing Heart Hostel and Lodge, which is uh, right there at Hot Springs, North Carolina. On our first day, we, um, we arrived at Standing Bear Farm Hostel, and we had the owner, Maria, shuttle us um, up northbound to Browns Gap, and then we hiked back to the hostel that night and then slept there that night. That day was uh, 9.8 miles. And then on the next day, we had Maria shuttle us down uh, further north to Lemon Gap, and then we uh, hiked back southbound towards Browns Gap, and then she picked us up and brought us back to her hostel, uh, which is on Green Corner Road. And that day we did 8.9 miles. And then Saturday we woke up and we drove from Standing Bear Hostel, uh, which is in Hartford, Tennessee, and we drove to uh, Laughing Heart Hostel and Lodge, which is in Hot Springs. And we had Kate pick us up there that morning, and she shuttled us to uh, Gavin Flow, I'm sorry, Garen Flow Gap, and we hiked northbound back to the hostel. 
And then on the next day, which was Sunday, we had uh, Kate take us to Garen Flow, and we dropped off my cousin's truck, and then she drove us further to Lemon Gap and dropped us off, and then we hiked back to our vehicle at Garen Flow, and then drove back to the hostel at Hot Springs. And then on our last day, which was a Monday, we had Kate meet us again at the lodge that morning, and she shuttled us further northbound to Tanyard Gap, and then we hiked southbound back again to the lodge. So those were our five days of hiking. This video will be followed by two hostel review videos, one for each Standing Bear Farm Hostel and Laughing Heart Hostel in Hot Springs, and then also five videos representing each of our hiking days on this section.